Hey guys, you know what you've clicked on, so I'm not gonna waste your time. If you wanna learn how to change out a Gold Zero internal battery, just wait seven seconds. And if you wanna learn how to daisy chain a second battery into your Gold Zero to increase its duration life, skip forward to this timestamp over here. Anyway, step one, unscrew the top with an Allen key for the respected size of a screw here. For the smaller Gold Zero housings, it's a very similar process. And also bear in mind, although in this case I'm dealing with AGM batteries, it is the same process for working with lithium batteries. And now here you're gonna find two terminals and you obviously have to unscrew them. And it's always hard to remember which terminal do you do first, is it red, black, or, and what was the rule for jump starting a car again? And instead of trying to remember the process or trying to understand the physics, um, I'll just think of it this way. Red is allowed to be the only one connected, but black is not allowed to be the only one connected. So just remember that rule of thumb. Red can be alone, but black can't be alone. And so when disassembling the battery, obviously you do black first because then red's gonna be alone. And for then when you're reassembling the battery, you reconnect the red first and then put on the black. And it's the same process for starting a car as well. Just a bit of a simple rule of thumb. Anyway, if, if you found that tip useful, please give me a like and subscribe. So anyway, uh, we've now unscrewed the battery. And so now you can take the battery out. And just bear in mind for the heavier batteries, it may even be a two person lift depending on what model you have. And so now it's time to take this battery to the battery shop. And there are a couple of reasons why you actually have to do this as opposed to buying the replacement battery and then uh, having it there from the get go. And one reason being is that instead of needing to learn the exact model number of the battery and how many amp hours it is, you can basically just go on with your old battery, take it to the battery shop, and then they can replace it with an identical battery as far as performance specs. And the second and biggest reason in my opinion, in most cases, these battery shops can actually dispose of the old battery for you, which is a, actually a massive convenience. And so now that you have your new battery, it's time to take it back to your house and then complete this project. Alrighty, so step three, put the battery back into its housing spot and now you have to reconnect it. So remember that rule before that red can be alone, but black can't be alone. So reconnect the red one first. Once all, that, all of that's reconnected as it was, you then reconnect the black one. And also while this battery case is open, it's a bit of a good opportunity just to give everything a bit of a wipe and a bit of a clean because I mean, when else are you gonna do this? And now with that being done, you reconnect everything back in and happy days. Give it a bit of a test and if everything's all working, well then congratulations, you have a new working battery inside of your Gold Zero housing. And now that gets us to part two. How do you daisy chain a Gold Zero battery? And for those of you who don't know what daisy chaining is, it's basically adding in a second battery to the Gold Zero to increase the duration of the battery life. Now, one thing I have to point out just to manage your expectations about daisy chaining a battery is that it will not increase the power of the battery. This Gold Zero battery has uh, inbuilt components and safety features that basically make it cut off at 1,400 watts. So no matter how much power you have behind it, if you have an appliance that's drawing more than that amount of power, those safety features are still gonna kick in. But where daisy chaining is of a massive benefit is that it'll give you more duration. So say for example, you're running a 1000 watt appliance, you'll be able to run it for twice as long. So that's where the benefit of daisy chaining is. And the process is actually much easier than what you'd expect. You basically just get an Anderson plug, you connect it in. So just as good habit, red first, then black. And then see this little port in the back of the goal zero here, plug it in and that's it. It is really that simple and it actually works. But one thing I have to point out though, is that the batteries need to be of similar size. So of a 100 amp hour battery inside of the Gold Zero housing, you'd want the battery that you're daisy chaining to, to be 100 amp hours as well. And you want the battery to be of an equal age. And the reason being for that is that the batteries will try to uh, regulate themselves to be at the same level. And so if you have one battery that's bigger than the other, whether it be through more amp hours or whether it just be through age and one's slightly depleted, the stronger battery will constantly be been getting depleted to try and top up the weaker battery, but then the weaker battery just be leaking that energy out. And so you'd be losing a bit of efficiency there. I mean, yes, it still will technically work, but it's not at all efficient. And so you want two identical batteries if you are going to daisy chain. And here's a bit of a left field unique question. Can you daisy chain an AGM battery with a lithium battery? Well, there is a very long answer to this, but the short answer to this is no. And that is because AGM batteries and lithium batteries have very different chemical properties and they recharge and deplete at different rates and it's not very efficient. Uh, the second reason being is that it's also not very good for the batteries. You'll decrease the life cycle of both of the batteries if you do this. And the third reason being is that it's not 100% safe. I mean, it's not gonna blow up in your face and cause a disaster the first time you do it, but there, there are potential safety consequences with doing this. And so hopefully this has now answered all of your questions that you had about changing out a battery inside of a Gold Zero housing and also daisy chaining. 